What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tip video for you. So this week we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go through a list of the top free extensions in SketchUp in 2017, or at least the extensions that I've been using the most. There are other great extensions as well, um, and uh, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know if I left anything out, but these are probably the ones I've been using the most. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Um, also, uh, make sure you take a minute to uh, look up in the corner to check out our featured extensions extension of the week. Extension 1, Soap Skin and Bubble. This extension allows you to create a skin across various edges. This is great for creating organic type shapes. It allows you to create a skin as well as adjust the pressure in the skin, allowing for greatly customizable shapes. Extension 2, Round Corner. This extension allows you to round the edges of 3D shapes. There are several different options for this, including rounding your edges and beveling your edges. This is an excellent extension for merging different shapes into each other organically. Extension 3, Fredo Scale. This extension allows you to geometrically transform your objects in a number of ways, including scaling, twisting, bending, and rotating. I've probably used the Radial Bend tool from Fredo Scale in more tutorials than just about any other extensions tools. Extension 4, Joint Push-Pull. SketchUp doesn't come built in with the ability to push-pull curved surfaces. This extension changes that, allowing you to not only push-pull curved surfaces, but also to push-pull multiple faces at once. Extension 5, Curve Aloft. This extension is designed to create skins using contours. It'll create faces between multiple geometric shapes, as well as allowing you to create skins across multiple lines using the skinning option. Extension 6, Shape Bender. This extension bends shapes along curves, allowing you to create interesting variations of shapes. You can use this to bend shapes along just about any kind of curving line that you can imagine. Extension 7, Helix Along Curve. SketchUp comes built in with several arc tools, but none of them are very good at drawing curves that arc along both vertical and horizontal directions at once. This tool allows both the creation of these arc arcing lines, but also tubes along a helix. Extension 8, Selection Toys. Trying to select and deselect complex geometry can be frustrating. However, with this extension, you can have much greater control over your selections, allowing you to do things like selecting only faces, selecting only lines, or many other selection options. Extension 9, Flowify. This extension allows you to deform objects along a given shape. While it has a slightly high learning curve, when it works, it allows for the creation of fantastic new shapes that would not otherwise be possible in SketchUp. Extension 10, Pipe Along Path, and lines to tubes. These two extensions are designed for creating tubes around lines. Pipe along path is great for creating pipes with linear paths, while lines to tubes will create tubes around every selected line segment, but they won't be as continuous. When you learn to use these interchangeably, this allows you great control over the tubes you create. That's where I'm going to end this video. I've included links to tutorials on how to use every one of these extensions in the notes below. So if you're interested in one of them, make sure you go down and check out those other videos. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did I leave off an extension that you really like? Um, did you feel like this is a good list? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please make sure to visit my support 
support me page on my website. That's the sketchupessentials.com slash support. Um, that's got everything from links to extensions you can purchase that'll help support the show to links to my Patreon page. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.